a little bit about this family history project, the Tipton Project. When mom was getting on in life, she gave me a material that had been given to her by Grandma Tipton, Mary Mildred Davis Tipton. Uh, the nature of what we have is strictly from records, a lot of ancestry, but uh, census reports, birth and marriage records. We know more about some people than we do others. Fires happen, that destroys records. Churches, people who were active in church, uh, there's a much better record of their life, when they were born, when they got married, uh, when they died. Uh, those were our uh, great resources. But the Tipton family story is broader than just this. This looks at the male genealogy over seven generations. There is a lot of richness on the women who married into the Tipton family. They've got some great history as well and maybe we'll pursue that as another project. But let's get started. Tipton's story, as far as I could find, went back into the 13th century. Somewhere around 1215, there's a record of a Tipton in Pontesbury, Shropshire, England. Uh, that's uh, west, northwest of uh, London, uh, near Liverpool. And over the next 400 years, that's where they live, Pontesbury, Shropshire, England. Then they got into the shipping business, and that shipping business is how our direct ancestor made it to Maryland. Edward Tipton was uh, going to Jamaica, actually, because the British were in a struggle with Spain over control of Jamaica, and they were in the shipping business. It made sense to be in Jamaica. By 1668, he has arrived in what is the uh, area of the Chesapeake Bay, Potomac River, the Maryland-Virginia border area. It's called St. Mary's City. He stays there in that area, does uh, wind up settling on uh, Northumberland in the northern neck of Virginia. And he has a son, Jonathan. Now, Jonathan Tipton actually arrived in 1668 with his father, Edward, and their mother, Amy. Jonathan Tipton, as an adult, will move to the Ann Arundel area. Our Tiptons are Anglican, not particularly devout, but uh, but active, and they will abandon that Anglican faith to become Quakers in a few generations. But Ann Arundel County, southeast of Baltimore, is where the uh, Tipton family settled. Uh, St. James Parish, to be specific. Jonathan Tipton was married at St. James Parish, uh, Thomas Tipton was christened, baptized there. They would eventually get to Baltimore, but the uh, St. James Parish Anglican area of Maryland is uh, where uh, we have some roots, and they spread to Baltimore as both Jonathan Tipton and Thomas Tipton moved there. Most of the families, by the way, are large, uh, so if there's a, a Tipton that you have met or know of, there's a good chance we're related Virtually all of the Tipton ancestry in the United States can be traced back to Edward and Jonathan Tipton. They were the first and they had big families. We're in Baltimore now and we're going to stay in Baltimore for about four generations. Jonathan Tipton speculating on land and doing fairly well based on the records that we've been able to look at. Thomas Tipton marries Sarah Steptoe, and the third generation Baltimorean is born William Tipton. And it will be William Tipton that will convert to being a Quaker, and that will end the Tipton line in the Anglican Church. Angelica Cole, fourth great-grandfather, was William Cole. He was in our bloodline, direct bloodline, he was the first to set foot on the uh, United States soil, or North American soil, obviously wasn't the United States, in 1618. Came on the boat, the Neptune. He was devout, but wanting to reform the Anglican Church, and when the Society of Friends was formed in 1624, he became active in the uh, Society of Friends, or the, the Quakers. So William Tipton and Angelica Cole are Quakers now, and their son Joshua begins the westward migration. Joshua Tipton will show up in the records of 1800, the census in Pennsylvania as a farmer in Pennsylvania. He marries a lady, Mary Ann Allen, and they keep moving west, settling in Ohio. Now the westward migration was culture-wide 
uh, at the uh, turn of the 19th century, late 18th century uh, into the early 1800s. And what was happening was the lands were opening up for settlement. Uh, good quality land was getting tougher to find on the scale of things that these people would have thought of in terms of having a piece of land. They're talking about a few hundred acres usually. And so they head west. And the migration was so significant that the very first federal road was built 1811. The National Road is what it was called, and it went around the Appalachia Mountains uh, from Maryland into Pennsylvania, southwest Pennsylvania, then into Ohio, kind of along the Ohio River Valley, and then that would continue the migration from through Illinois, uh, Indiana, and into Iowa, and that is the route that our ancestors took along with thousands of settlers who were migrating west around the turn of the 19th century. So Joshua Tipton gets to Ohio and he has a son, Charles Tipton, in 1825. Charles Tipton marries Rebecca Rhodes Parsons. These are all farmers. They, these are men who work the land. And they have a son, Charles and Rebecca have a son, Jefferson Davis Tipton in 1861. Jefferson Davis Tipton marries Sarah Bowman in Moulton, Iowa. He and his older brother Franklin moved from Ohio to Southeast Iowa after the death of their uh, father. Their mother travels with them and around Moulton, Avenues County, that's where they settle. And that is where our grandparents hail from, if you will, Fred and Mary Tipton. You know of the children that they had and uh, we are uh, the next in line making the story uh, pretty widespread. I've had a good time. I hope you uh, found some of it interesting and I hope it didn't ramble too long. Thank you for spending time. We'll talk to you soon.